a go. standing ovation for Ad Marlon oh. Wayne. That's exactly right. Thank you. Welcome back to the show. How much did you pay him to do that? Never. For we love. We love You're you, man. Such a friend. We love. Hey, you. my man. Come on. Congrats, brother. Come on. Ah, Thank you. Ah, Come on. Ah, 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 a little Academy. You know, Oscar winner gone. <laughs> Academy Award winner. Look, you changed already. Look, the Afro's now slicked back. <laughs> <laughs> you changed. You see, now you speak in an Eastern Standard dialect. <laughs> yes, of I am a serious uh, uh, performer uh, now. My, my, uh, my name now is Amir K. Thompson. They'll <laughs> call me by my government. <laughs> it has dignity now. <laughs> black Thought, you are no, Tariq, you are no longer Black Thought. You are. <laughs> Negro contemplation. Okay, interesting. <laughs> interesting. <You're changing. laughs> I'm always happy to have you here because I don't know what you're going to do or say. I don't know what the hell I'm going to yeah, say. Yeah, uh, I, 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 but I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy that you're in New York City. We love you here. Thank Come you. On. I love, love being uh, home. Yeah. It, you know, today... I was going to ask you... it's changed a lot. Like, I go to my old neighborhood. I was in the... I grew up in the hood, you know, in... in, in um, on 16th Street and 9th Avenue. Yeah. And back in the day, it was the ghetto. But now, everything is all gentrified. All my street cred is gone. I'll be like, yo, you know I'm from? I'm from Chelsea. They're like, you talking about the meatpacking district? Get your ass out of here. <laughs> it's changed now. It's different now. Yeah, yeah. It's so different. Uh, I, but I was going to... Today is 420. Uh, and uh, I was going to ask you, because you've played stoners in a, in a few of your films. I thought you were going to ask me on the light up. I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I am. It's on you, brother. It's no, on you. No, I, I, I was going to ask you, does that mean anything to you, 420? Um, it does. Not as, it don't mean as much to me as it does Snoop Dogg, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he he's probably trouble. crying. He's taking a month off. It <laughs> <laughs> means a lot to you. Exactly right. <laughs> but it means, like, for me, I, 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 it's fun. I'm just not good at it. Like, some people are good at smoking weed. I'm not. Last time I got high was at a barbecue. I have allergic reactions to weed. I got high at a barbecue at my house, and I thought I was Spider-Man. I was literally <laughs> going what? around my house going... Phew. And I seen the web, and I would <laughs> jump and stick on the wall. <laughs> and, and I did this all around my house for, like, four hours. And people was like... And after that, they was like, Marlon, no more weed for Marlon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, people would rather give me crack than weed. I'll, that would be an easier high for me. They, they, you, you played... You won a Stony Award. I won I multiple Weedhead Awards. I am really good at playing Weedheads. I studied them. Here's what happened. Yeah, tell me. I'm a method actor. So, okay. I, instead of me smoking... Because when you smoke, I forget everything I do. It'd be real funny, but I forget what the hell I did. One time I got high and I wrote what I did. I was like, I'm going to write myself down, write down what I did. Yeah. And I wrote it down, and I, I, it was like my third grade handwriting. I didn't know... I <laughs> what you read wrote it. down. So I learned, let me get my friends high. I would get big bags of weed, and I'd get them high. And I would just watch them and take notes. Well, and they, then they, I, they must have loved that. Yeah. <laughs> and I did them in Paranoid movies. enough. So I did one of my boys, Shorty, um, Scary Movie. That's right. He's a real dude, right? And he wanted to sue me. He rolled up, he literally sued me. I said, son, I'm suing you for character defecation. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, first of all, you mean defamation. No, son, I said defecation because you <laughs> on me. <laughs> and I was like, I, I was like, what do you mean? He was like, I seen, I seen to did, I seen to did, did, I seen to did. It's seen it. It's the past tense of seen to did, stupid. <laughs> I seen to you do me in that movie, Requiem for a Dream. I said, dude, I didn't do you in Requiem for a Dream. I did you in Scary Movie. He goes, oh, snap, son, that's my joint right there. <laughs> you should win an Emmy, a Grammy for that. <laughs> she said, what, a Grammy for that yeah. movie? <laughs> uh, uh, you know, last time, I think we talked about, one of the times, we talked about taking vitamins, because you always, you look so young, Thank and you. you take, you, you do take good care of yourself. I take everything. I, I take, see, Shorty would tell you, weed has nutrients. It does. It got vitamins and nutrients. It got vitamin T, C, and H. <laughs> and C, B, and D. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But, yeah. So I, I do I do take a lot of vitamins, but I just, I don't know. I just it took me a long time. I'm just developing weird. Like I just now got a chest. You got one this year? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a weird feeling. I actually have a chest. Like when a woman lays on your chest and it's not like she's sliding down off your chest. <laughs> it's like she got grip. Like, <laughs> <laughs> He's sliding down. Yeah, now, uh, now I, go, I, I could finally grow a beard. It's not all, my beard used to grow like, uh, I, like someone pushed me in a fire. And it, it, it 
grew crazy, all scraggly. Like now, I'm, I'm ready for like leading man and stuff like that. I couldn't do that when I was younger. Yeah, you could. I mean, we always had a good looking. I mean, we always had a young face. I was cute, but you know, I'm trying to get that. You know, I got to look, feel that, Jimmy. This, I, I wear my suits tight now. Go on. Yeah, you do. Yeah, exactly. Go on. You mess with Marlon Wayans, man. Come I'm on. I wear my suits tight. Yeah. I mean, you always look young. I was, I was like, do people card you still? Um. Well, I get carded sometime, and I'm like, that's cute. I'm like, dude, I've been around since the 40s. <laughs> I'm old as hell. You know, I have the exact opposite of, I'm always going to look young. That's a good thing. Yep. There's some people that don't have that. Like, Morgan Freeman has looked old for, like, 60 years. <laughs> so neither one of us are aging. You know what I mean? <laughs> he, he just looks that age. Only way you can tell Morgan's age is you got to count the moles on his face. <laughs> Every mole's an extra year. <laughs> Let me stop for Morgan Freeman bust my ass. Huh? Yeah, he's gonna kill you, right? Uh, is, is this uh, do, your, your microphone fiend tour? Congrats! Yes. You're doing stand up. I, I love that you're doing. It kicks off at the uh, in L. A. at the Palace, uh, April 30th. This yes. is a uh, Netflix is a joke fest. Yes. Uh, then you go to Tampa, Florida, uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. Look at all these days. Austin, Texas, Dallas, Texas. I'm trying to be somebody, Jimmy. Um, <laughs> Come on. It, it, it's taking a long time. I've yeah, been right. trying for 49 years. It's, you one know, of these days is gonna kick yeah, in. I'm gonna be somebody. Days, no. Marlon Wayne's official. Me and Morgan Freeman gonna do buddy action comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see that. I, I, do, I But I love seeing your acting. But I also love seeing you do stand up. Uh, by the way, MarlonWayne'sOfficial.com is where you should go for the tickets. Yes. So you don't get uh, ripped off by scalpers. Yes. Uh, but you're also doing another cool thing, which you know uh, I I got my start in in comedy, so I appreciate what you're doing. It's on HBO uh, tomorrow. So yes. your second HBO special, HBO Max. It's called The Headliners. Yes. And it's where I take five of the people that open for me, and I open for them, and they're the headliner. So I'm giving it's their night for them to be funny as hell. That's C. a Castillo, great... Shantae Wayans, uh, DC Irvin, Esau McGraw, and uh, Tony Baker, and uh, it's a really fun night Good of comedy. Good for you for doing that and, yes. and, and getting their careers uh, kicked off. I, I love that. Yes. I, that's like that's like old like Rodney Dangerfield type of stuff. Opening for people, nobody understands how hard it is to open for people. As, as an open, that's a, that's a very hard thing. I Like, for me, I opened, I had a, my brothers, I opened for them. That was hard. Was it really? Yeah, because my brothers are mean, and, uh... <laughs> you know, I, I opened who, for who, them. This Damon? Is Damon, Keenan, Sean, and, uh... You open for Jackie, all? Jermaine, all the way. <laughs> I love Jermaine. <laughs> Jermaine Wayne. <laughs> we went on a tour, right? And so I, they made me go out first, right? And they're funny. Like, there's rules of engagement. Like, I, they, like, don't run the light, no matter what. If they gave me 15 minutes, get in, get out. I wound up going 17 minutes. My brothers was pissed off. They said, yeah. don't run the light. And then so the next city we went to, each one of them, they said, you're going to close. I didn't have a closer set. I had an opener set. They said, you're going to close. Each one of them did an hour before me <laughs> and then gave me a tired, drunk audience. Yeah. And then they was like, let that be a lesson to you. I was like, what? <laughs> That's I, a great... I, I damn near got booed that night. So the next night, they was like, this is funny. We're going to do it again. So they do the same thing, but I have prepared my closer set. Wow. And so I went out, and I, de I did an hour. And I brought the audience back up, and I destroyed. Yeah. And then my crazy brothers, this Damon, mm, I'm closing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Once you learn your lesson, like, get out of the way. Exactly. Yeah. Little brother, yeah. yeah. I want to show everyone a clip from your special. Here's Marlon Wayans in Marlon Wayans Presents The Headliners. HBO Max, take a look. What are you doing out here, young man? I was 18. I said, I'm moving out here to be an actor. He said, no, you're a black actor. And I was like, no, I'm an actor. He said, no, you're a black actor. And if you're going to be a black actor in Hollywood, I want you to understand something, young brother. There is no work for you in Hollywood. So if you're going to be a black actor, I need you to be a writer, a producer, a creator. And then you can create work for your black actor to work. And because of John Singleton, I have written, starred, and produced Over 21 terrible <laughs> movies. <laughs> <laughs> Set it up. <laughs> Marlon Wayans, everybody. Marlon Wayans presents The Headliners. It's on HBO Max tomorrow. Go to MarlonWayansOfficial.com for tickets to see Marlon live on tour. Hey, hey.